Welcome back cheapos to another video on how to not blow your money all in one place in a short amount of time. Today we look at a few different ways you can enjoy the city of Shibuya housing the busiest intersection in the world without spending a pretty penny. You may or may not have heard about the famous Scramble Crossing. It's said to be the busiest crossing in the world. People cross the streets in all directions, some trying to capture a picture in the middle of the intersection before heading on their way. The noise, colors, and lights are what attracts tourists everywhere. You can gaze at the huge TVs playing ads and new music videos, or enjoy a cup of coffee at the nearby Starbucks with one of the best views of the crossing. If you'd like to know ways in which you can photograph Shibuya Crossing, click on the article in the link below. On the north side of the station is Hikari, a free creative space for galleries and art exhibitions. Head to the 8th floor of this building and witness creative works from all 47 prefectures of Japan, as well as some contemporary and Japanese craft art. Last but not least, the 11th floor is a hot spot for viewing and photographing Shibuya Crossing. Meiji Jingu Shrine and Yoyogi Park is only a stone throw away and easily a cheap, relaxing way to enjoy the area. Write out your wishes at the shrine and check out the cheap museums they have available. Yoyogi Park usually has festivals or street performances going on, so be sure to check them out before you leave. Hachiko is a tale of a loyal dog who waited for his master to return during the war every day for nine years. A statue of Hachiko was built in front of Shibuya Station in honor of this dog's loyalty. It's a beautiful dog! <laughs> Hachiko is usually one of the most crowded meeting spots in Shibuya, so if you're looking to meet up with friends for a day of fun, this spot would probably not be it. Love Hotel Hill is quite the place to adventure around. The architecture is wacky in every way possible and filled with glowing coffee shops and bars. If you'd like to check out any of the Love Hotel rooms in the area, take a look at our video and blog post on these types of hotels in the link below. So, I will not go. Turn the lights off. On. You could also give Tower Records a visit. The store is still going strong in Japan and offers a lineup of mini lives, free short concerts almost every day of the week. There's also full on performances complete with stage and strobe lights in the basement. There's also a bookstore that has English magazines and books that you can browse through. Last but certainly not least, the newest addition to Shibuya, Shibuya Stream. It's definitely worth wandering around. This place recently opened up with restaurants and shops and it's looking to expand in the next couple years. Enjoy some gluten-free pizza or fresh squeezed lemonade at the nifty newer side of Shibuya. There you have it, ideas for those of you who are looking to enjoy Shibuya City on a budget. If you have any ideas or questions, comment down below and don't forget to check out our blog post for even more ideas on ways to enjoy this beautiful city in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video for more content like this, and we'll see you guys next time.